Hello everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. I hope you are doing well. So in this Salesforce Agent Force series, today we are going to learn about inbound omnichannel flow in Salesforce. So in this video, we will be understand what is the inbound omnichannel flow, why we need to create it and how we can use the omnichannel flow in Salesforce. Why we need to call it as an inbound omnichannel flow? So all these things I will explain in this video. For that, watch this video till the end and don't miss any step. And if you are new to our channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon. So whenever you post any new video, you will get an update. Now let's moving ahead. So here, let me navigate to the Salesforce org. So first, let me give you an overview about this inbound omnichannel flow. So the inbound omnichannel flow used whenever we create and deploy any service agent on the external side or the public facing side. From there, whenever any customer raise the request to an AI agent, so here to route that request from the external side to the AI agent that done by the inbound omnichannel flow. So here I have already did some steps. So let me show you. Now here you can see I have created the service agent, assigned topics, instructions and action to it and also I have activated that agent. After that I have enabled the omnichannel flow. So let me show you. As I navigate to the Salesforce org, let me go to the setup. Then in the quick find, as I search for the omni channel. So here you can see here we have the omni channel settings. As I click on it, here you need to enable this omni channel and also you need to enable this enhanced omni channel routing. So whatever the things I have already did, I have explained these things in the video how we can create and deploy the service agent in the community site. So for that, I will provide that video link in the description box. You can go through it. So in this video, we are only going to focus on the inbound omnichannel flow. For that here, I am showing that steps. So here after enabling the omnichannel settings, the second step we have, we need to create routing configuration. So here you can see here we have the routine configuration as I click on it. So here we have created one routing configuration. After that, the third step we have, we need to create the fallback queue. Now, now as I search for the queues, let me open the queues. So this queue I have created because if any request raised by the customer from the external side, if that request is not get routed from the external side to the AI agent, then that request will get routed over this messaging queue. In, in this messaging queue, I have added some users and that request will get assigned any of that users who are the human agents. And after this one, the next step we need to create, which is the omnichannel flow. So first, let's understand why we need to create this omnichannel flow. So here we created the omnichannel is used to route the request with the human agent. Now to route the request from the customer to the AI agents. So to automate that process, we need to create the omnichannel flow so that whenever the customer will raise the request that will get route to the AI agent. And now we are going to create the flow, the service agent that we have created. For that, let me navigate to the agent builder. So we have activated this agent. Let me navigate back. So now here I'm opening the service agent. After that here you can see here we have connection tab or connection option. Click on this and now as you scroll down here you can see here we have inbound omni channel flows. That means whatever the request raised by the customers that will get to the AI agent using this in using this inbound omni channel flows. So here click on this go to the flow builder. After that, click on new flow button. And here make sure we must select the omni channel flows for that in the search automations here. I'm searching for omni channel flows here. You can see here we have one type select this one. Now very first we need to create one record ID. So why we are going to create this record ID because and here the resource type will be variable API name record ID search data type will be text 
and here in the availability outside the flow here we need to select available for input so why we are going to create this because we know that the request raised by the customers is reached to the ai agents through the messaging channel and now for that request we need to get the record id so here we have created one record id to get the messaging session record request id and then click on the done button and now once we will have the record id of that messaging session that record we need to route to the ai agents so for that in the element here we need to search for the root work here you can see here we have root work element click on it in the label here i am providing root to ai agents api name will be automatically populate then as you scroll down here you can see how many work records to root so here we are going to select single in the record id variables here we need to select the record id variable that we created after that the service channel will be messaging session and then in the route to here we need to select the agent for service agent so here we are creating agent for service agent that means whatever the request will be created by this customer this flow will route that request using the messaging channel to this agent for service agent after that here we need to select the service agent that we created so we created service agent for orders and then for the fallback queue that means if that request will be not able to route from the customer to the ai agents then where it should go it should go to the queue that we created which we created messaging queue so we created the flow let me close this one and then click on the save button so here i am giving the flow name root to ai agents the flow name will be automatically populate and you click on the save button now to use this flow in the agent builder we need to activate this one and close the and let me close this one after that here you can see in the inbound omni channel flows as i refresh the page the flow that we created will be appear over here let me scroll down here you can see route to ai agent so i hope whatever i have explained you have understood that if you like the video hit the like button subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so whenever you post a new video you will get an update